Hi Grade 3, 4, welcome to Art This Week. We are looking at the elements of art again. So we've looked at a whole lot of different types, most importantly space. We also looked at colour and shape. Today we are focusing mostly on line, but we're also within this artwork looking at colour and shape as well. You might even see some more elements of art. So before I tell you um, what we're doing, I'm going to show you an example of what we will be making. Okay, so this is a type of echo art that's inspired by a particular artist called Jimmy Pike. So I'm going to show you now some examples of Jimmy's work. Jimmy Pike was one of Australia's most famous Indigenous artists. He was one of the first artists of the contemporary Indigenous art movement, that means the modern Indigenous art movement, to use a vibrant colour instead of more traditional earthy tones like shades of brown and orange. He was born in the great sandy desert south of the Fitzroy River, in Western Australia and was a member of the Walmajari people. We're looking at two artworks today by Jimmy Pike. One is called Japinka Country and one is called Rainbow Serpent. We're going to use Jimmy Pike's artwork that I just showed you as inspiration for our own artwork. Now we're not directly copying Jimmy's work, what we're doing is we're using the colours, the lines as inspiration for our own. So what I would like you to do is I'd like you to start thinking about a object or a symbol we can put in the centre of our page. Now this is going to be different for every single person. Within Jimmy's work, he often put a message in it that only his family might be able to read. So I want you to think about a symbol. It could be something like a flower. It could be a symbol that means something to you for your family. It could be anything like that. Now something for me that I, is really important is nature. So I'm going to start by doing a flower in the center of my page. I've drawn in a Sharpie, you need a, it's best to do this in a black texture if you have one, a Sharpie. I've done a nice big flower in the centre, it's also run down here. Now what we're doing with uh, this artwork is we're doing something called echo art and if we think about what an echo means, it means that you might make a sound and then it repeats itself until it gently fades away. So we're doing that with our drawing style. So what you'll be doing is mimicking that echo by drawing around your artwork with the same sorts of line. So I'm going to go around and I'm following the lines. So I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way around. I finished one layer of my echo around my symbol, my flower in the center. I'm going to go ahead and keep going. So in the end you might have 10, 20, 30 lines all the way around. So I'm going to fill my page just following that line. Just an update of my echo art lines. So you can see I couldn't keep going in here, so I've just made that a curve around here now. Same with here, I couldn't get in there, so now I'm just curving it through. I'm going to keep going until I hit the edge. At some point you're going to get to the edge at some areas. So here I have hit the edge, and I'm going to pretend that I can keep drawing and pick up my line here and keep going. Okay, just like I have at the bottom and I'll just start up again. I have finished all of my echoes radiating, so that means they're coming out from one central object here. They're radiating out to the edges. Just like Jimmy Pike, I've used line in my artwork and now that's addressed that element of art, line, but now I need to add colour. So I'm going to get my other one that I have done here and you can see once it's added colour it looks a lot more like it's been inspired by Jimmy Pike. So I'm going to zoom in here and show you the sort of colours I've used. So I've used texture for this one, but you can use pencil, paint, it doesn't matter, although paint might be a little hard to go in all of these lines. But when you're thinking about colour, I don't want it all to just be one shade of blue or one shade of orange. I want you to think about working in one, maybe all warm colours, and then all of a sudden having these bright patches of cool colours like green or the other way around. Okay, it looks stronger just like Jimmy's work if all of a sudden he has a really bright pop of colour. Now it doesn't have to be a flower. Another really important thing to me is the feeling of unity and peace. So this one I um, drew a dove 
a symbol of peace here and it created all these beautiful lines around here as I went around. So your symbol might be totally different but I want it to represent something about you. You've got two weeks to do this artwork. After week one I want you to upload a photo of this. So I'd upload a photo of just your black lines but at the end and then you can start coloring if you've got more time in week one. The end of week two your coloring must be finished and you must upload a picture.